Did that just break on camera? Hey guys, it's Thomas. Today we're going to be 3D printing a boat. And I don't have a time lapse, sadly. For what I call the 3D Benchy 2.0. Let's get started. So you may have noticed I put my SD card holder here instead of the airplane. Well, that's because the airplane stand works, so I couldn't put that there. But if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen my RC airplane video, let me go get that. It's right here. This is a RC airplane I 3D printed. And the stand broke off, so. Yeah. Before you click away, back to the topic. So, this is a boat I 3D printed um, with 0.15 layer height on my Creality CO10. And it has really good quality because of my new Creality CO10 profile, James over at Print and Play, suggested to me. And the prints have, my prints have improved since then. So, when it came off the printer, it had these little things, knockovers. So I needed to do a Z-hop when retracted thing in the settings. So, I just kind of glued them back on. And, yeah. But, if you need that, um, in a minute I'll show you guys the close detail on this. So, this is also printed in my Nova Blue PLA. Did that just break on camera? So, basically what happened is... This little piece got off the back of it, so I have to glue that back in. Uh, I guess it'll be fine with the rest of the video without it. So back to the close-up. The details amazing. And except in some places. Sorry, I stopped focusing it. There you go. There, so you can see where I glue it. There. See, there's these. The really detailed fences. So, back to the normal. So, successful prints don't always come with a first success. This one was caused due to a G-code issue. This one was caused, uh, failed due to a G-code issue. We started printing randomly, so I just kind of scraped the top off. So, we talk off, top off. So, if I, if I did this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to leave a subscribe, if that's a thing. And ring that bell for notifications. And as always, like that smash button.